Good morning, guys. This morning, I'm going to be doing a really simple, like, get ready with me sort of makeup tutorial of the makeup I do to go to work on set every day. Obviously, when you have to be at work for 7 a.m., you want to do the quickest, easiest makeup that you can come up with. Um, some girls wear makeup on set, some don't. Sort of depends with everyone's preferences so it also depends like a lot of people oh by the way i'm going in with the maybelline instant anti-age eraser multi-use concealer i feel like this one is very famous so i don't think i need to introduce it but it's very light coverage and it's also i managed to get my exact skin tone so i don't have to blend for ages and color match this is just i just slap it on literally like this i'm doing it slightly slow obviously because i'm talking but i this is about <laughs> i do it pretty much like this i just get a wet beauty blender and um tap it in and this is more i don't know if this is more of a psychological thing because i just like having my pores a little bit covered but i'm pretty sure it doesn't really change how my face looks it definitely doesn't cover any eye bags that's for sure if i want to cover eye bags then at the moment i'm just using up the maybelline superstay foundation it's not my favorite because it's quite thick it's quite cakey so maybe I'll, I'll like water it down with something one day if I figure out how to do that. But yeah, so the concealer all over my face. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, it depends. Like some girls really like, they like getting up half an hour before they leave the house and like that's where they cut out time. That's where they spend more time in bed. And then they can stay up later in the evening. Whereas I prefer to get up super early in the morning and then go to bed a bit earlier. So it just depends how you want to do it. Um... Also, I have I have a little theory that the girls who work in makeup have time to do their makeup, like once they get to set, because those girls work the most hours, but they also look the best every day. So I don't know how they do that, but they all have curled hair every single day and like full makeup, like everything. So I, yeah, I don't know how they do that, but it's very impressive. So yeah, as, as feminine as I want to be on set, I can never compete with the girls who work in makeup and costume because they can wear nicer clothes and um, they have somehow maybe they just have more dedication to doing their hair and makeup than i do but um so i'm just doing eyeshadow eyeliner this doesn't always stay i think you have to find the right type of eyeshadow but this i'm literally guys i'm using a primark palette that i got years ago but the black is so pigmented in it that it works but um if so like if i know i'm in studio i'll stop here eyeliner wise just do a bit of a line underneath like this 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 is how i've done my eyeliner on set for the last year so every day i've gone in with this um if i want to go if i know that i'm going to be in the rain or in the elements that day then i'll use the scandalize rimmel scandalize one like that again if i'm feeling fancy i might go in with like an eyelid oh my god eyelid shadow like because i get really oily eyelids don't even ask so i'm going to use the Too faced natural matte palette and i'm using the shade less is more but i also use au natural and i oh my god i just smacked that on my eyelids i think when i first started i did do like um a brown or beige shade on my eyelid but as i've gone i've just given up on that and i normally grab some concealer particularly if i've tanned the day before to like blend out the line <laughs> i'll do a bunch of bronze i think bronze are kind of save my saves my ass sometimes not today apparently it's not coming out but literally this is also how quick i'll do it because if you only have five ten minutes you you're not going to do cream contour are you so i do that and then i've recently learned that blush as well this is literally just one that i picked up at morrison's i did not put a lot of thought into this blush because i'm on a budget but this is the rimmel max blush maxi blush it's powder but it's really like pigmented so i have to be careful that i don't make it look like i punched myself in the face because the other day we were on a pier filming and it was really sunny and halfway through the day all the guys on my team started going em you look a bit sunburnt and i looked in the mirror and i'm pretty sure it was just the blush that i put on that morning but they were like you know you start looking around at everyone and everyone else is pink and then they see me with bright pink cheeks i've kind of managed to do it again actually which is not great and then like ems burn herself no no no. it's just the blush that i was wearing so this is this and then this is the best mascara for like honestly it's great it's maybelline colossal the big yellow one it's the, pretty much the only big yellow mascara and this was recommended to me by grit that i was talking to she showed me this mascara and it stayed all day for her obviously i don't have time really spent ages doing layer upon layer but it always stays like this always stays 
it's, I don't think it's waterproof though. So if you know you've got rain effects on that day, a layer of waterproof foundation on the top, but honestly, a baseball cap should protect you from like the majority, the majority of rain on your face. And I'm just using this Vaseline limited edition pink diamond. It's really nice. I like it. It's not my favorite lip balm, obviously, because otherwise it would be in my bag. And then I would normally just do an, some random NYX lip pencil just to get color back in my lips because... So yeah, I use that to get some color in my lips. Right, and then the most important steps which I've discovered from trial and error are setting powder and setting spray. So I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't understand if I'm getting this out of the tub wrong because I have to like hit it and it's really loud. It always wakes up my boyfriend. So I, I think I might try... I think there was a NYX brand maybe? So I just... I go over the places with the setting powder that I put, that I put concealer and then the powder that I've used like on my, for bronzer, sort of sets itself so I don't need to. I don't need to add anything. Don't ask me why the label has done this, I have absolutely no idea, but I think this was the NYX setting powder, uh, setting spray, it works really well. This, this works pretty well, I mean our industry is really hard because you can't guarantee that your makeup's gonna last all day no matter how many like regular setting sprays you use if you wanted to spend more i think there's the urban decay one is quite good apparently i haven't used it yet so i should i should do like a tester if i ever buy it and see how long it lasts uh this is also nyx butter gloss this is really nice i sometimes just carry this around in my cargo pants just to like put on because it's so subtle but it still has color in it um yeah this is the final look oops this is the final look it's pretty subtle, but it's still like feminine enough, I think. So just grab a bit of eyebrow gel. It's also really easy to top up throughout the day. If you want to like, when on my first job, I used to go to the bathrooms on the lunch break, if you're lucky enough to have a lunch break. And I just go to the film industry porta potties, they're called honey wagons, don't ask. Top up some makeup and the security guards would laugh at me, but you know what? Um, Thanks for watching if you did. I hope this is useful. Obviously it's like film industry makeup on a budget, so I'm not using the best products ever, but this is, I think this is just a nice, subtle way to wear makeup, you know? I'm not spending half an hour doing my makeup in the morning only for it to rain and it will get washed off. And it's just something if you carry a little eyeshadow palette around, you can just top it up throughout the day, no stress. So yeah, this is how I do my makeup in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and like this video and turn on notifications if you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.